What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today I have another WWE action figure setup for you guys. <laughs> All right, guys, today's setup is Attitude Era version, and what I did was took all of my Attitude Era superstars and I plugged them in here. The timeline is around 2000, like summer 2000, so we're coming up on the end of the Attitude Era in a couple years here, but it is not quite there, so um, you guys will, uh, everything's not 110% accurate, you know, some head scans are off here and there, maybe an attire or two is off. However, I did my best to, you know, get as close as possible with details and stuff like that, so I hope you guys will appreciate that. If you guys actually lived through, through the Attitude Era, if you were actually, you know, uh, present during that time, you were a wrestling fan, you got to live through it, please let me know down in the comment section below what you thought of this. At this time that this is taking place, I was around four years old. I became a WWE fan around 1999, late, so... I would say, I definitely remember all of this, you know, it, it's pretty nostalgic for me, it do, totally takes me back to being a kid, but let's go ahead and get into this setup. So we'll start off in the front right here, we got the tag team, too cool, dancing away, we got Rikishi and Scotty Too Hotty, Scotty Too Hotty hitting the worm right here, I really want Mattel to give us a Grandmaster Sex A, I think that would be absolutely beautiful to have all three up on the shelf, so that is something Mattel needs to take note of, I would love to see in a future series. Back here we got Team Extreme, Matt Hardy, Lita, and Jeff Hardy all chilling, talking over tag team plans here. I know that Jeff isn't completely accurate, but you know, it's probably the closest one that we have from Mattel so far, but I just think they look sick over here all chilling together. Um, I have that custom made Lita right there that it is Attitude Era accurate, and then of course Matt Hardy as well. So if we come over here, guys, you will see that Stone Cold Steve Austin is getting arrested right here by the police officer in front of Vince McMahon and Triple H. Uh, this Vince McMahon obviously is not accurate. I need to pick up that older head scan. I used to have it, but I think I traded it or something like that. This Triple H is actually accurate to the time. He wore this in the late 90s going into 2000, so that looks great for this time period. Right here, though, yeah, Vince McMahon, he definitely is taller. He, he's more jacked than that, and his head scan is much younger so I definitely need to uh, get that fixed but it's all I had for the video over here though you will see Stone Cold is being arrested by the officer and uh, he does have the handcuffs on there and this is actually a Jax head skin that I think works beautiful for a Stone Cold Steve Austin I think it fits perfectly it's you know it, I just think it works really well you know he's getting arrested here and he's cursing out Vince McMahon as he is getting escorted we all know that it would take more than this one police officer to escort Stone Cold but you know it's all I had I need to just load up so I can you know make different versions of cops so that if I want to do a setup like this it won't hinder it in any way but I love this 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 is probably my favorite part of the entire setup. Just really good nostalgia here. A great flashback and a great little setup. Over here we got my boy Chris Jericho walking down the hallway here with his Intercontinental Championship. That is a custom Attitude Era Chris Jericho right there. Around 2000, 2001 he rocked that attire. He was the Intercontinental Champion in the summer of 2000. So I had to plug my boy right here walking down the hallway. Right back here we have the great one we got the rock walking down the hallway owning the joint you know big man on campus with his wwf championship on his shoulder walking around got the gold chain sunglasses t-shirt i really love that figure i think it's pretty underrated you can get that thing so cheap so i think that is a beautiful figure that everybody needs in their collection if we go back here, we got Christian getting 3D'd by the Dudley boys through a table, and Edge is looking on like, Jesus Christ, what am I supposed to do? I'm sure this will break out in a warfare right here. The Dudley boys letting Edge and Christian know they're coming for their world tag titles that are strapped around their waist right there. And if you look just beyond, you will see Eddie Guerrero with the European Championship. He was the European Champion at that time. And I really couldn't think of anything else without China around. I didn't know what else to do with Eddie Guerrero. So I just stuck him back there. If you come over here, you will see Kane choke slamming X-Pac onto this storage unit right here. And this is around the time they were feuding in 2000. As I don't know if it was around summer 2000, but I know for a fact that they feuded in 2000. So uh, that looks good right there. And that is actually the attire that both of them were wearing around that time. And then right here we have Kurt Angle coming through the door knowing that he wants no part of this choke slam that Kane is delivering to X-Pac. It is so surreal to me that we actually do have a Kurt Angle in Mattel figure form. That is just freaking beautiful. 
But that pretty much does it for this little Attitude Era WWE figure setup. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments section below. How could I have improved it? How could I have made it different? Let me know what you would have done for yours. If you were an Attitude Era fan, if you grew up during that time period, you saw it take place, I would love to know your thoughts on this setup. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Goat.